for Thanksgiving this week, this Thanksgiving week, we're going to have a progressive dinner of praise. We're going to work our way through a number of the Psalms and the ways that they praise God. And today I want to use Psalm 148. And in part it says, Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise the Lord from the earth. You sea monsters at all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. And this is a reminder that God is the God of creation and we are so thankful that God has created creation in so many wonderful and diverse ways. When my children were little, I used to tease them and say that when I was young, the earth was all black and white. And I could prove it by showing them uh, TV shows from back at that time. And then one day God decided to make it all color and bring color forth. Now, my children never believed that. They were smart enough and suspicious enough not to believe that. But how thankful we are for all of the color that God gives to us and the diversity. And that even the sea monsters in this psalm are called to uh, bring praise to God. This is also a reminder that creation not only is created by God, but all creation praises God. And we see the, the praise of creation when we see in God, when we see God in creation, when we see God in the beautiful blue sky or the green grass or, or whatever it might be, we see God in creation and creation praises God. And so on this first day of our Thanksgiving week, we praise the God of creation and we praise God for creation and we praise God because we are part of creation. Amen.